Greetings family, welcome back to my channel. In this particular video, I would like to discuss some statements made by DJ Vlad about the Nation of Islam. Alright, now on Vlad TV, recently, DJ Vlad had an interview with Godfrey the Comedian in which he wanted to discuss the historical tensions between blacks and Jews in America. Alright, now in this interview, DJ Vlad revealed that he is from the Ukraine and that his family is Jewish and that he himself is still a proponent of that faith. Okay, now he spoke about the Hasidic Jews and their conflict with African Americans and he spoke about the fact that some Hasidic Jews allowed a young African American child to die. Um, when they sent the ambulance, they only let the ambulance pick up the Hasidic Jew who was injured, but they didn't pick up the African American. So that caused like some riots in America, you know. But in the course of telling this history, for some reason, DJ Vlad decides to mention Minister Louis Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam. Alright, he mentions this fact that. Elijah Muhammad told the story that Europeans or Caucasians were created by Yakub, the scientist, on the island of Patmos. All right, and basically, you know, many people have been offended by this notion. Many Caucasians have spoken out against it. Some African Americans have spoken out against it, but it is a widely held view that this took place and that you know DJ Vlad decided to inject this into the conversation I guess somehow to ascribe some blame to Minister Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam for, for perpetuating these ideas right and they concluded this interview but I noticed he followed up this interview with an interview with DL Hughley and in this interview it was centered around DJ Vlad basically blaming Louis Farrakhan for inciting anti-Semitism and even inciting violence against Jews, you know. And it seems to me that he invites unsuspecting victims onto his podcast and then he blindsides them with his um, targeted rhetoric and his political leanings, you know. He's basically revealed that he's a member of the Jewish community. So it stands to reason that he is doing this on behalf of that community to basically fight their battles for them, but within the realm of hip-hop, you know. And what I would like to say in this video before it gets too long, you know, they have historically labeled the Nation of Islam for being anti-Semitic, you know, it all began with Khalid Muhammad and the Kean College lecture. And in the Kean College lecture, he basically lambasted and criticized the Jewish community that was involved in the slave trade. You know, and basically, he was defending a publication which is called the Secret Relationship between Blacks and Jews. Uh, one under this title was released by Tony Martin and another was released by the Nation of Islam Okay, but it seems to me that exposing the Jewish role in the Holocaust in the enslavement of Africans is what really precipitates all of this anger because ultimately The Nation of Islam released a publication and Tony Martin released a publication which was filled with documentation from Jewish scholars you know that it was not conjecture it was actual accounts from Jewish scholars and so to me it seems to me that this is the best kept secret of all time in terms of their role in the slave trade um, even the Keene College faculty actually acknowledged that Jews were two percent of the slave owners but they acknowledged that that was two percent too many so family let me know your thoughts in the comments below